this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I want to speak about one of my favorite topics in astronomy that is parallax, parallax in altitude. Parallax is a term we have been listening from our college days. Uh, while doing the experiments in light, a professor might have told you what is parallax, what is error of parallax. Talking about the parallax, if this is the earth and here is moon and here is celestial sphere, now by rule, you should be looking at the moon from the center of the earth, but you are not looking at moon from center of the earth, you are observing the moon from the surface of the earth. So instead of viewing the moon at this point on the celestial sphere, you will see the moon at this point. So this error is because of error of parallax. This error of parallax is also this angle or this angle. So uh, what is the error of parallax? Can I say this error is the angle caused by the radius of the earth through the observer at the center of the body? This is parallax, this is parallax, so this is parallax. So when we try to remember any definition, please relate it to the diagram. Because if you theoretically just try to mug up the definition, it will not help you. Because it is very important to understand what are the constituents of the definition. For example, if you say parallax is angle subtended at the center of the body by radius of the earth, the definition is incomplete. Definition will not be meaningful or complete unless you say radius of the earth through the observer. It is very important to say the radius of earth through the observer. For example, when the moon is at sensible horizon, horizontal parallax is such a large parallax error when moon rises in altitude. Here is the observer. When moon rises in altitude, the angle has become smaller. And hypothetically, if you assume that on that particular day, incidentally, moon passed from top of the observer, that is, passed from his zenith, then the parallax in altitude would be zero. So parallax in altitude actually is also a function of apparent altitude. It depends on apparent altitude of the body. In fact, parallax in altitude is horizontal parallax into cause of apparent altitude. So let us try to understand this relationship and the derivation. That is, parallax in altitude is horizontal parallax into cause of apparent altitude. Here is the earth and this is the path of moon. Observer over here, moon at sensible horizon. Here is the center of the earth. Now this angle is horizontal parallel. Now here is the moon in altitude. And this is the parallax in altitude. Okay. Parallax in altitude is the angle at the center of the body subtended by the radius of earth through the observer. Let's say this is center, this is observer, this is moon and this is m. Now if this angle is apparent altitude, so this particular angle is 90 plus apparent altitude. Now this is the radius of moon's orbit. Right? R. So if we consider this triangle COM1 and triangle COM1, sine of this angle which is apparent altitude plus 90, sine 90 plus apparent altitude divided by opposite side that is R is equal to sine parallax in altitude divided by opposite side that is small r radius of the earth. Right? So this becomes cos, therefore cos of apparent altitude divided by r is equal to sine parallax in altitude divided by small r. But if we look at this triangle, this appears like right angle triangle. Okay? In this right angle triangle, what is r divided by capital R? small r divided by capital R in this triangle is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse for horizontal parallax, so sine of hp 
Now if you make adjustments here, R upon capital R is equal to sine parallax in altitude divided by cos apparent altitude. But this is equal to sine HP. Because small r upon capital R is equal to sine HP. <coughs> this means sine parallax in altitude is equal to sine HP into cos apparent altitude. Now, sine HP as well as sine parallax in altitude are very small because HP as well as parallax in altitude are very small, less than 1 degree. Now for small angles, I tell the students, for small values of theta, sine theta tends to theta. What is the meaning of tends to theta? Tends to theta means for small angles, small values, even if you don't have scientific calculator, you can find out the value. For example, if you want to find out sine of 1 degree and you don't have scientific calculator, what you can do is 1 upon 57.3, that value will be approximately equal to sine of 1 degree. Here, on both the sides, we have the sine values of small angle, sine parallax in altitude is equal to sine HP into cos apparent altitude. So we may say parallax in altitude upon 57.3 is equal to HP upon 57.3 into cos of apparent altitude. This means parallax in altitude in minutes is equal to horizontal parallax in minutes and the cos of apparent altitude. So this was the derivation for the relationship parallax in altitude and horizontal parallax.